Okay, I'm going to show you how I make a backup image of the computer uh, using a Cronus, a Cronus True Image. Uh, I've been using a Cronus for about seven years. Uh, before that, I used Norton Ghost. Uh, that actually ran off of a floppy disk. Uh, basically, you have to install a Cronus on your computer. And then from within a Cronus, there's an option in there to make a boot CD. Uh, you make the boot CD, and this disk will load uh, without Windows. So basically, you plop the disk into your computer, and you restart the computer. The computer should boot off of the Acronis desk. Okay, the CD-ROM spinning up. There it goes. Caught it. going to analyze my system. Okay. This is the home screen. You pick a Cronus True Image. Now it's going to analyze the hard drives in my computer. I have two in there. That one, that's the drive that has Windows, and that's a storage drive for storing data. This is just a couple years old uh, used server I picked up, E8400. It's going to be a secondary music computer. Just something to play with. So anyway, here is the Acronis page. A um, couple options on here. Once you've made your image, if you have trouble down the line and you need to restore your computer, you'd pick Recovery. Uh, for right now, I'm going to make a backup. This is a fresh install of Windows on this system. Uh, all my programs are on there. My drivers are all set. Uh, everything's exactly how I like it. And it hasn't been putrefied with any web surfing yet. Uh, so it's a nice, fresh uh, install. So, hit back up. Uh, now down here, I don't want to back up any data. I want to back up the entire disk, the entire partition. Okay. Down there, that just shows you how much is the size of what I'm going to back up. Uh, it already picked this partition. This is disk 1. And partition one of disk one is where Windows is. I basically just have the disk partition in the two parts. Uh, the first partition is on the outer part of the platter. Uh, if you make two partitions, it basically makes the hard drive faster. So I'm going to take an image of that partition. Hit next. Now it's going to ask you where do you want to store that image. Uh, what's the target of the backup? Uh, you could you could put it anywhere. You could you could plug in uh, one of these uh, external drive. Make your image to that. Um, you could use a little thumb drive. Uh, I'm going to make the image and store it on another hard drive right inside my computer. Uh, but it's a good idea once that image is made. Uh, to later burn it onto a DVD just for safekeeping. So, I'm going to choose the location. I'm going to store it in here. This is on a, the second hard drive in my computer. Um, you could name it whatever you like. Here, I'll aim it. I'll name it image one. Uh, 
You could actually rename this. Once the image is made, you can go back and navigate to it within Windows and rename it. Uh, but actually, I'll just let it generate the name. Simple enough. Okay. And now it's just showing you what's going to happen. Hit next. That's the summary of operations that are going to happen. It's going to create the image. It's going to save the image. And you hit proceed. Now I'll show you how long it takes. <clears throat> Acronis is usually pretty fast. Um, Alright. That, what it shows you initially, is almost always wrong. And I'm not going to fast forward this. I'm going to let it go so you can see actually how long it takes. Um, it should only take a minute or two. And like I said, once this image is done, you want to uh, go back into Windows and open up Nero or whatever CD burning software you use and just burn an image. Burn a copy of that image onto a DVD um, or possibly a dual layer DVD if it's uh, more than about four and a half gigs. Take the, then take that disc, stick it in a folder. What I like to do is put it right inside the computer, like that. This way you know where it is um, if you ever have to restore your computer. Okay, so it's almost done. All right, it's done. Now, I'm going to take the disk out so when I reboot Windows, it doesn't try to boot off of Acronis again. Close that. So now it should go back to Windows. And we'll just navigate to the image, take a look at it. Um, one thing I left out was that when the image is done being created, you could actually validate it at that, at that step. Uh, it's a good idea to do that. I mean, you could actually validate the image anytime you'd like. Alright, now we'll take a look here. That's where I told it to store the image. And there it is. It's fine. Um, one other thing, like I said, uh, right now would be a good idea to open up uh, a CD or DVD burning software uh, and burn, choose burn data disk and then drag this onto the burner and burn a copy of that onto a data DVD. Uh, if it's more than four point seven, uh, about four and a half gigs, you could use a dual layer DVD. Um, so if everything crashes and you lose everything, then you would reboot your system off this disk. Then once a Cronus comes up, you pull this disk out Stick the disk in your drive that has the image on it, and then you can navigate right to that image and restore off the disk. Uh, so it's a good idea to do that. Uh, and that's it. That's a Cronus. Uh, it's a pretty good program. I've been using it for uh, quite a long time.